Hi everybody, Jeff and Jaron Thompson here. Welcome to Stability and Simplicity, live from Woodland Park, Colorado. We have the word of the Lord through Jaron. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I just wanted to share with you, um, so once you make a decision to follow Jesus and once you're in a personal relationship with him, what does that mean? What do we do? What's our job? What, what does God expect of us? And we know Micah 6, 8 says, what does the Lord require? but to love loving kindness, to do justice, and to walk humbly with him. But how do we walk humbly with him? What, what does that look like? And as God's image bearers on the earth, we're to multiply, be fruitful, subdue, have dominion. But why? And what does that mean? Does it just mean having kids? But <laughs> Being I really, fruitful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I really want to encourage you that what this means is that we're to reproduce him. Amen. So many times we say, Father, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But how do we do that? Right. We do that through reproducing him in our choices and our in our words and our conversations and our thought life. Amen. And so it's and it's not a matter of works, but it's a matter of what fruit are you bearing? Mm -hmm. It's a matter of what are you rooted to and that's what you're gonna bear fruit of. Amen. So it's not a matter of works, it's not a matter of being religious, it's not a matter of going through the motions, but for us as God's kids to literally say, Father, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, yeah. um, how do we do that? And we do that by reproducing him. And the only way we know to reproduce him is through his word. It's good stuff. So Um, your life is no longer your own once you become a child of God. Yep. And uh, 1 Corinthians, let's see here, it talks about, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Mm -hmm. Therefore, honor God with your body. Mm -hmm. And I was taught that verse in eighth grade as, you know, um, you're getting into dating years and those types of things. But it's also honoring God with your body. Yes. Honoring God with your words, honoring God with your thoughts, honoring God with your decisions. Amen. Because you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And um, this is what brings his kingdom to earth. It's the unity of the body of Christ. It's the body of Christ working together. Amen. And um, let's see here. I want to read. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling. We are one body. Amen. And if we don't do our job, whatever, if you're the little toe, if you're the, the eyeball, if you're the eyelash, if you're... Um, a finger it doesn't matter those of us who have been the lesser parts especially for extended yeah. periods we know what it's like to be the lesser part we also know that it can't happen without us it takes the entire body working together because mm -hmm. if there's if you've ever watched like gears working together if there's a cog that's off right the whole thing shuts down because the gears can't can't work if one piece is missing right. and the body of the Christ body of Christ is the same way. I'm just a toenail. Let's remove a toenail and see yeah, how everybody see how else feels walk. about that. <laughs> Where is you? <laughs> um, and the purpose of being a child of God is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, Amen. with all of your soul, with all of your might, and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. So many times we have to remember to be patient with each other. Hmm? And we're, we're good at judging ourselves of our intentions, but judging everybody else off their actions. But to truly, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> to truly be the body of Christ, it's endeavoring, it's pursuing love, it's pursuing Christ, yeah. and working together. We're all going to share heaven together. Yes. We need to work together now. Amen. And so I just want to encourage you that we all need to unite together to bring the kingdom of God to earth. Amen. And do you have anything to add? Anything oh, on your heart? Just what you were talking about as as one body and, and, and our bodies being the sacrifice mm -hmm. to the Lord. All right, let's make this one clear. God cannot operate in this realm without humans. Amen. He cannot, and that's just the way he designed mm -hmm. it. But just because we have dedicated ourselves to, to the work of the kingdom doesn't mean that God needs us exclusively. 
uh, my spiritual father pointed that out to to a young man one time when he and he had a blossoming ministry and such going on and and he just kept talking about well my ministry this and my ministry that and and God needs me and my spiritual father said let me tell you something Padma God doesn't need you and he said what do you mean God needs people he said God needs people but you were the first one to agree to do what you're doing so don't think that he needs you yeah because I guarantee you there was half a dozen people or more in front of that line that got that said got the you know, toy boat said no to God and so that's that's that sacrifice that we make yeah so may we all walk in humility mm -hmm. Amen. endurance lots of endurance to fulfill everything that God has for each Stamina. one of us and as we partner our lives together mm -hmm. with God and with each other may we not compete against each other <laughs> but may we unify and I mean, there's such power in unity. And so may we not compete against each other, but truly walk in humility with mm -hmm. each other, trusting the gifts and callings within each other to bring God's kingdom to this realm yeah. and, and his kingdom to this earth. Yeah. God created the resources we're competing for. There should be no competition. Mm -hmm. And I love this statement that just says, Father, you began... Father, the work you began, you are faithful to complete. Amen. And so may he find us worthy to complete yeah. the call. Yeah. And um, because we're willing to submit to each other, to serve each other, mm -hmm. and to love each other yeah. in everything that we do. Good stuff. So, Father, baby. your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. And may the Lord multiply your time back to you yes. exponentially. May the blessings of heaven be your norm. And may your everyday blessing be somebody's miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.